Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Waiting on a Friend as recorded by the Rolling Stones on guitar. Now to play this song you only need to learn two sections, and I'm going to show you how to play both of them. First up we have the main riff, which is what I played for the intro, and it's really all just based around going between a C and an F chord, and then we have the verse progression. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step, but before we jump in, if you're new, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style, anywhere on the neck, and I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below and you can grab your copy. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Waiting on a Friend as recorded by the Rolling Stones. Now we've got two sections we're gonna cover. We're gonna start off with this main riff that kicks the tune off. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> So we're essentially just going between a C chord and an F for this riff. But we're going to start off with a C add 9. So it looks like your C chord from the 5th string down, 3, 2, open. But then instead of the index here on the 1st fret, we're going to put our pinky on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. And then we're going to just strum those middle strings. So that's a C add 9. The next chord is F6 and then F. So what I did to get to the F6 is I leave my pinky down as an anchor finger. And then I'm going to bring these other two fingers down. So the ring finger goes to the third fret of the fourth string and the middle finger goes to the second fret on the third string. I'll keep my pinky here on the third fret of the second string, and then I'm going to add my index on the first fret of the first string. So from four down it should be like this, three, two, three, then one. And that is a variation of your F chord, it's an F6. And then finally we're going to take that pinky off and just go to this little F. It's just four strings down. Third fret, second fret, first fret, first fret. So all together, C add 9, F6 to F. Now rhythmically it starts on beat 2, you hear. So we're going to start on beat 2 and go 2 and 3 and that's just down, up, down, up with the strum hand. Then we'll rest on beat 4 and then on the and of 4 we'll strum that F6. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And then in the next bar we're going to go 1 and 2, 3 and 4 and... So that's... This F chord, we're going to rest on the downbeat, one, and then we'll play and two, three, and four. So one, and two, three, and four. So I'm going down, 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 up, down. And then we have a little bass line that walks us back to that C add nine, because that progression is just going to loop. So that note, second fret of the fifth string, gets us to the third fret which is back to that C add 9 chord. So all together, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Okay, and then, so that's our downbeat, then we tie that back in with the strumming. 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 3 and 4. 
Okay, that goes over and over eight times. And then the last time. We don't do, we don't do that bass part. We just go. We just stay on the F. And that leads us to the verse where the vocal comes in. Here we're gonna play. We've got a little progression here. I'll break it down bar by bar. We're gonna start on the A minor chord. That's from five down. Open, two, two, one, open. Then we go to F. You can play any F that's comfortable for you. I like going to this sort of F over C, and then you could put your thumb in the bass if you want, or just keep it, you know, like that. You don't have to have F as a bar chord. You could just go like that and play the middle strings. Then G. Here I'm playing just a folk G, you know, three, two, open, 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 three, and then to C. Now strumming wise, I'm keeping just a general eighth note feel, one and two and three and four, and a sample pattern might be play a quarter note on the downbeat, and then all the rest eighth notes like this. One, two, and three, and four, and. So that's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then put that with the chords. Okay, the next couple bars go G to G7, C, C. So that G is like this, and then I can just change that top note to get the seventh and then back to C. And then that goes again, G, G7, C. So if I put that with the strumming pattern, Sometimes you hear a walking bass. So that's the third fret, then second fret of the fifth string, then A minor. So altogether, this verse progression goes like this. And I'll just keep it simple, keep the strumming pattern going, and then make those chords. A one, two, three, four. back. Now there are a lot of little embellishments that you hear on the recording, you know, and these are like kind of typical folk moves that you'll hear over chords like this, like C, little hammer-ons. You know, stuff like that that just kind of walks between the chords and fills in the spaces. But between the main riff and then that verse, that's what you need to know. So make sure you have down the main riff and then the verse, and then with those two sections, you can go and play along with the recording. And I recommend you doing that, putting on that classic Stones recording and playing along. Keith Richards and the whole band just had such a cool groove and feel. And so we wanna just practice and see if we can be like a sponge and absorb some of that and get it into our own playing. And to help you even more, make sure to download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to play anything on guitar, whether it's a solo or a song like this, a rhythm part, anything, I'm always thinking about this system and I wanna give it to you completely for free. It's just a one page PDF that you can download. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash 
fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next up, I wanna hear from you. Let me know in a comment down below, what is your number one struggle with guitar right now? Just comment it down below so I can help you out here on the channel. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon. Mm -hmm.